So what do you think about like India, its music and its culture in general? Like how do you like the place? I mean, I love the food. Really love the food. What's your what's the name of the food? Butter chicken. Butter chicken. Let me have back. All right, guys, we are at Bengaluru in Sunburn today, and we have Boris Brecha. Just before we start, I want to say what an amazing set. You really nailed it yesterday in Mumbai and today in Bangalore. You really nailed it. What do you have to say? Like, how was your experience here? I mean, I would say just crazy. I mean, the last time I was here was like seven years ago, and we were playing like for like just a small amount of people and this time was like super huge so I just can say I'm super thankful for the people that they listen to this kind of music and they support me so I'm super happy it's amazing so you often categorize your music as high-tech minimal yeah you're the king of high-tech minimal so I just want to know like how do you feel like being the king of this subgenre I mean I just did this show because I mean the people want to know, okay, that's Boris, he's doing high-tech minimal, or this is Adam Bayer, he's doing techno, you know, they need something to, to recognize. Get it. And so I just did this, yeah. but I mean, it's happy, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see that like a lot of people are sending us demos and they try to do something like high-tech minimal, it's like super crazy. I mean, I just did this genre like randomly, but the people love it and they, they they produce music for it, so it's it's fantastic. It's it's crazy, man. Awesome. When it comes to Boris Brecha, it also comes to the man with the mask. Yeah. So, uh, what is like your uh, on the stage artist persona? Like when you go on stage yeah. with the mask, do you think that makes a difference with the people? I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, it's like uh, I mean, like half of the set, I gonna put the mask off so the people see. Okay, that's Boris. I think that's really cool. So you have like both sides. Um, but I think with the music and with the mask, it has like a special atmosphere. Okay. So, but but I mean, like that I, I'm using this mask was coming like randomly. It was like a joke. I mean, I, when I started to have my first gig, I was thinking, okay, there are so many DJs. I need to do something the people remember. And that's why I was using this mask. And now it's like a part of me. Well, I love it. It's it's crazy. It's cool. It's cool. And about your label, fucking serious. Yeah. It has like become a hit in the techno community. And so, like, what do you have to say? Like, you put it out there, and even now, Indians, the scene in techno is like really improving in India. Yeah. And people are getting to know about it, fucking serious also. So, like, what do you have to say about that? About your label? I mean. I mean, we had this Corona thing and after that, like the electro scene was like going super high. That's really cool. And we're fucking serious. It's like, I mean, we are, we are like a small family and everyone knows each other and everyone can get to each other. That's really cool. And we just do what we love. I mean, like Dennis was here and Ankle was here and I was here. But the main fact is we have to go together here you know to make like maybe like a fucking serious label night or something like that maybe in one year or in two years and that would be perfect super perfect amazing so you're here in india after a very long time after a yeah. long break seven years yeah. so like mumbai yesterday today in bangalore so what do you think about like india its music and its culture in general like how do you like the place i mean i love the food really love the food what's your what's the name of the food butter chicken let me have butter chicken i love butter chicken of course, I love the people and I love the country. Okay. It's too hot for me, but if you have a pool, then it's fine. <laughs> um, but I, I, I don't, I'm super happy to be back. I mean, after seven years, it's a super long time. I was playing all over the world, but not in India. So, yeah, but I hope that we come back like more often. So not wait for another seven years. That will be really definitely cool. like I'm pretty sure like after this set of yours, India is like looking forward to see Boris again. I hope. I definitely. Hope. I hope. Definitely. And like, what do you think? Like, you know, like how do you think the crowd reacted today? Like to your music? Because India is like very new to like, it's not very new to techno. Techno has been here since a very long time. But since the recent years, like after COVID, yeah. techno has been a very big scene. Like every club weekend is being techno, concerts in techno. Yeah. So techno is like really. So we also like assume that techno can be the future of Bangalore. Techno can be the future of India. Any kind of music can be the future, but I mean, I was coming back after seven years. Yeah. And when I have seen there, 
was the crazy man. The people who were dancing, the people were like street. Exactly. Exactly. It's cool. That's really cool. Really. How do you manage to be so energetic like every live performance? Like I've seen a lot of artists, but you throughout your entire two two hours set, you were getting that moving. So how is that? I don't know. I mean, I play only my own music. So amazing. I, I love my own music. So that's maybe why I dance it. So I don't. Amazing. So like music and techno is in your heart, especially high tech minimal, and that's Boris Brecher for you. And just before I end this, I have a small gift for you. This is from my side personally. This is from Stone Cold. It's white gold and it's an iced out pendant from Stone Cold. I just wanted to have this. Awesome. I hope you liked it. That's that's cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And once again, I want to say that Boris Bracha here in Bangalore has killed it. Like he's really killed the entire scene here. Mumbai and Bangalore is not going to forget Boris for a very long time. And definitely, we're looking forward to see Boris once again in India. That's true.